Hello everyone, welcome to the part 5 of our complete Lumion tutorial series. I'm really sorry for the delay, I just wasn't feeling well and so I had to take some time off actually. And so yeah, so in this part I'll be uh, showing you how you can render animations in Lumion. Simple animations in Lumion. This is completely for the beginners who are just starting off with Lumion. Uh, if you want to render something out, if you want to render an animation out, be it interior, be it exterior, uh, this video is for you, how you can add sounds, how you can add these keyframes and create an uh, animation that you just saw. So yeah, and to those of you who are new to my channel and if you like my content then please do like, subscribe and share and also to all my subscribers, I love you all. Thank you. So before I get into the animation part of it, I'd like to show you how I modeled this entire scene to be honest. And to be honest, this entire scene has been modeled in Lumion using the landscape option of here. If you have been following my Lumion tutorial series from part one, you should be well equipped modeling in Lumion itself, modeling landscapes in Lumion to be honest. These are all Lumion objects, nothing from outside, everything done in Lumion. These are highly detailed trees from the tree library. Lumion so that's it really nothing else and just I just added a water body and there's nothing from outside I added a water body with the help of the uh, Landscape option the ocean option up here That's what I did actually and lowered the height Just adjusted that and that's it really that's how the entire model was done. So anyway uh, To get into the animation bit of it you might want to click on this movie part of here and the moment you click on there Yeah, for me. I already have a clip recorded actually two of them recorded uh, I, I was thinking of uh, doing this one rendering this one out I didn't render this out I just wanted to keep it short actually as it was taking a lot of time so I rendered this one out the one that you saw in the beginning of the video okay we're gonna record a new one and yeah in order to record let me just go back there uh, you can hit escape and just come out there you can go to one of these blank scenes and left click on them and then just go record or if you've got image from your files uh, you can use number of multiple number of images if you render the images out and you can put that back in Lumion uh, that'll be just just like keyframe animation so you can call in all the images and it'll just read that and turn that into animation and then you've got movie from another file you can attach another mp4 file over here if required you can call that back over here or you can record so I'm gonna record a new one which most probably everyone is using when you're recording something new so record that the moment you left click on that you'll be brought to this screen you've got FX on FX on is basically whatever effects you apply on your scene if you want that on during recording you can have that but I generally turn that off because once you apply your effects and you want to make changes in your uh, animation it gets quite heavy and it's quite difficult to move around inside Lumion and therefore I just turn that off this shows your computer performance uh, this is your timeline the how long your animations for you can set up the length the length of your animation and of course you've got ease and smooth ease out smooth so basically these two options will uh, smooth out your uh, graph for your keyframe animation so if you keep that in ease in what it does is it'll slowly start off and then it'll slowly end the video so the movement is slow in the beginning then it picks up the speed and then it gets slow again at the end of the video you'll be seeing that right now here so for example if you want to so in order to move around uh, i hope you all are used to it by now moving around is your keyboard left right front back that that same thing and mouse right click holding the mouse right click lets you move around i mean revolve around lumion basically so yeah if you can just set your camera wherever you like and for example over here and in order to just take a picture over there add a say it says add camera keyframe so the moment you add one you might want to move so wherever you'd like you might want to move forward somewhere there add another one then move somewhere there or you want to turn the face add one there and you can add something like that so it'll add so these four pictures are more than the moment you play it and it shows its own calculated timeline you can set that up to double click on that let's set that up to 15 for example <clears throat> now if you play it you'll see that it actually 
see it's slowly starting off then it picks up the speed it rotates it slows down a bit from this preframe animation it'll rotate and then it'll pick up the speed again and then slow down again at the end but if you don't want it to slow down if you want it to be linear then what you can do is click on this over here Ease, uh, click on that it'll make it linear and click on that it'll make that linear too and the moment you see that it'll, it'll be in constant speed now see that so it'll make it look like a, it'll make it it'll give the feeling of a movie to be honest on this one there you go everything is in equal pace basically so that's that part you can use that or you can go for a short of it remember videos they require a lot of graphics and they take up a lot of time to render size so only render small clips in Lumion but if you want to do that you can go ahead and keep that I'm just going to delete a few, few frames from there I'm going to do so in order to delete frames you might want to go there if you want to if you made a mistake click on that dustbin there and delete that click on that click on the dustbin there and delete that and in case if you want you want if you want to add something in between you can click on this arrow it'll insert another keyframe there so now if you play it it'll, it might look a bit different actually to be honest and there you go it stops there <coughs> that's how it is really so once you're done setting up your scene and everything what you can do is you can save your clip and go back to movie mode so that'll be recorded and kept over here this is render clip double clicking that double left clicking that will actually delete that movie clip that you just recorded and that's edit clip going back to that editor again so again you can add effects over here and for those of you who have been following my effects carefully that tutorial on all the Lumion effects explained in a two hour video you should be now ready and equipped with your Lumion settings when you're watching this video but in case if you're not if you're still in doubt I'm gonna leave my Lumion settings file in our Facebook group so make sure you join the group in order to get the settings file so alright I'm just gonna copy my settings file which I have set but I'll be explaining that too how I did everything there what are the how do you move objects how do you add sounds and everything so I'm just gonna click on left click on that copy effects go to my clip click on that again left click edit and paste effects in the moment to do that it will copy all the effects from this one to this one so now how do you move objects in Lumion that's that's a big concern for all the newbies but before I get into the move option I got this wind effect from the wind option which I explained in the effects option what I all I did was went to the wind effect and increased the wind speed to 100% so that it feels like a windy animation basically you can change the wind direction if required you can have foliage wind if required if not no but uh, yeah I'd like foliage wind so leave that to that and now as for the move option I'll just show you the move option in a bit uh, yeah so you've got three options if you go to add effects you've got under the animation tab you've got mass move move advanced move advanced move basically lets you add keyframe to your moved moving objects or your moved objects time wrap basically covers the animation time of an object animate colors you can color you can color you can have multiple colors for your lights it's basically for nightclubs and things so that you want to use animate colors animated phasing which I've also explained in my Lumion tutorial which, which I'll not be explaining here because it's all explained there in that video this video should be I'll put that up I mean the link you can find the link above you can click on that and check out my entire Lumion settings tutorial and the mass move is basically for mass movement of any object so yeah so for now I'm gonna be using move for this so click on move go into edit and with the move option you can actually edit any any object movement from boats to houses to anything really you can add so how I got that airplane that you saw in the beginning of the clip I put that airplane up over here with the help of move vertical option and I kept the start position over there and and for the end position I click click on the end position and you can actually adjust it the moment you adjust it you'll find you will find that sorry about that the moment you adjust the plane position you'll find that the plane actually conforms to the landscape let it confirm just be where you at and then use the move vertical tool to pu push that up push that up 
above to make it look like as if the uh, plane is flying up to be honest so once you're happy with your inclined action of the move button uh, you can all, all you have to do is go back to your confirm changes and it'll take up the changes without any problem so the moment you play that you'll see that the plane actually moves yeah now that's you that's how i got everything else to move to be honest the uh, the human figure over here the boat over there that's it really nothing else in the move option then for the uh for the sound how do you add sounds if you go back to build mode you've got something called sounds over here so under that you've got many different sounds you've got you've got ocean you've got nature you've got you've got like cafes you got things there you go you got motorboat you've got people you've got you've got a lot of sounds actually so i put the ocean sound over here that's it really and nothing else in there and i went back to the movie and i played the clip and i rendered it out that's it nothing else in that clip everything else is adjustable it is just those pure settings inside lumia nothing from outside this is what your i mean this is all is there inside lumion animation i mean there is a bit more you can add you know walking movements with the help of camera shake strength you can go into where's that where's that handle camera and there you go and you can increase the shake strength there slightly and you can see that the camera you can increase the shake strength more if required you can get that because of the wind i mean everything is just shaking shivering because of the wind you can have that you can have someone running it it'll, it'll actually uh, give you that effect of running and things like that yeah so with the help of that you can actually create lumion animations whatever you see on the internet it's all done with a few settings with the move option with the advanced move option please do check out my tutorial for uh, lumion settings and stuff like that you'll get a better idea and the rest is all same added a bit of analog color there and a bit of chromatic aberrations there which i've explained in detail in my lumion uh, tutorial the settings tutorial so check that out that's all there is for the moment and mm, yeah that's it really and if you want to create further please please share your work by the way in our facebook facebook group the dworks uh, 3d club share your quality work whatever your progress is let people comment on your work so that you can get better day by day i'll approve the posts and yep yeah, just get people to comment on your work and so that you can get better every day and in order to render out your animation you can either click on uh, a render movie or you can click on the entire movie entire movie will render the entire thing all the clips and you can then click on render movie will render the entire thing or you can click on if you want to render a certain clip for example i want to click on uh, the third clip i want this clip rendered you can click on that you can directly go to render clip it's the same options the moment you click on that and you've got the entire clip over here the first option you'll get is entire clip set that to uh, production quality i generally set to that you can set it to i mean five stars five stars will take a long time to render i generally set it to that and 30 frames per second which i find maintains the quality that i require at the same time it maintains uh, the render time as well you can go ahead and give it a try with 60 frames or 200 frames and production quality if required then but down here you've got all the sizes say so whatever size you require as per your client's requirements and the second one the second tab is current frame you can basically check your current uh, frame what it looks like so what your movie might look like you can check it with a single frame with certain outputs and then you've got the image sequence under the image sequence is basically printing out all the frames as pictures and then merging them in a uh, in a video editing software to get your uh, to get the animation out but you've got better control on this one so for example if you've got like a five second video and you've set it to 30 frames per second and for a five second video you'll end up with 150 renders with which you can have additional outputs or whatever outputs you select from here and then you can actually merge them in a video editing software and have them properly rendered out so you, you'll get better control over your animation with this one so you've got all frames you've got keyframes 
wherever you've got your certain points and then you've got range range is basically your certain seconds that you'd like to render up and of course you've got the sizes over here so th yeah that's it really anyway thank you for joining in if you still do have doubts i'm going to leave the settings file in the, in the in our facebook group you can collect it from there for free it's not nothing is paid for all these settings you don't have to pay and yeah download that settings file create your own animations and send over post them on facebook and yeah post them elsewhere get comments and get better every day all right thank you thank you all for watching this video if you did enjoy the video then please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with my future uploads